How YouTube? Guess who? Anyway, it's January 15th, 2016. I want to show you what I've made within my absence, because I'm always making videos Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and in between those days, I'm going to just do some research and start making some props for that week. So, if you're a subscriber, I thank you for subscribing. If not, what do you do? You hit that button. And I'm the most world player, by the way. And I'm about cosplaying, props, costumes, and particularly files, but basically digitally altered photos, which I have four videos on that on my YouTube page. My top files. Check those out. And prepare for number five later on next week. Anyway, this is from straight out from a show I watch every now and then. It's from the fifth season. Called that show is called Once Upon a Time, and it's the show's version of Excalibur. Cool. I took a three-tiered approach on the handle and on the blade. Cool. I made two templates, one for the handle, one for the blade, as well as templates for the guard and the ornaments, as well as the primal. I used gold and red acrylic paint, silver spray paint, and on the scavenger, basically the item that holds the sword in, all black spray paint, foam board, and tape. The tape to get with hot glue is a brand called T-Rex. Be sure to look for that. But you get it at Walmart. I use gold, red coat paint. I use tape for the hand guards and the hand of a nice grayish dark look. I use Sharpie for the detailing on the blade. Both sides. Now that the detailing was a little bit of a challenge, so I did my thing here and basically did it all right so far. And I did something a little bit awkward with the prop here. I'm just going to show you. When it goes upside down, you may look, see it looks like it's some kind of awkward, spacious symbols or not have you. I'm going to flip it over. It's ass gas. My versions and funny saying of uh, farce or flashings or whatever. Basically, yeah. Any use, this took me about a full four hours to make. Three and a half hours, start to finish on the sword. The scavenger. Well, I used template. I, I don't know if I said that before, but I used template to make both the blade and the handle with the primal. Through here approach as usual. Uh, on the hand guard I used four. You can also use five if you want to, but this is my prop. You can also make your own. By the way, I use a lot of pictures for references that help me with making props and such. Yeah, all in all it's pretty cool looking. Nice and sturdy. As well as the scavenger. And with this the sword and the scavenger took me about one full sheet of foam board. I went to Walmart one last few nights ago. I got 15 sheets, so I'm continuing making more and more foam board props for my YouTube page for you guys to amaze and be all in and all. That is my guarantee. The scavenger may look not much, but this was the meaning of the foam board. I traced the sword to the remaining pieces of foam board, which is four pieces. I used my sharpie to go down the sides about a tenth of an inch wider than the blade for both sides here, front and back. The same deal with the sides. I taped them and hot glued them together. I used my watery tool to make a loop for the belt and I had a very little amount of foam board left I used that for this so you can come inside and pull it out 
100% pure coldness. Oh, cool. All right, that's about it for this video. On the Motor Player, do sub sub. Give one a shout out to Apartment Quest only. On the Motor Player, and this is my homemade, once upon a time, Excalibur homemade sword. Later.